Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Saturday, February 11th and the energies in the day adds up to the number 11 vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So the number 11, 11, 11, because the day is 11 and the energies add up to the number 11. So when it comes to the spirit animal card, we have the sea serpent. And when you look at the sea serpent energy, you can see that the sea serpent is biting its own tail. And someone here on YouTube pointed out to me that this is considered as the evil eye. And when I look at the serpent biting its own tail, I could definitely see that. So when I look at the whole 11, 11 aspect to the day and the card that comes out, this brings me to the feeling of angst, nervousness, the need to hurry up over feeling a little bit overwhelmed, feeling a little bit overworked or trying to push the envelope, trying to overdo things. Um, today, Mercury goes into Aquarius and the day is associated with Saturn energy because Saturday is associated with Saturn energy and Aquarius is ruled by Saturn and Uranus. So when I think of Aquarius energy being ruled by Saturn and Uranus, I think of how exhausting I feel since the sun entered into Aquarian, Aquarius season. And the reason for that is because it's like I feel caught in the middle sometimes with the energies because Aquarian energy is ruled by Saturn, which talks about the past, traditions, us honoring our ancestors, our elders. And then Uranian energy, the other ruler, deals with the future being innovative, being futuristic and also revolutionary. So, you know, we rebel in order to do all these things. So I think of the back and forth, the feeling of guilt to say, abandon some of the teachings of the past, even though they haven't been working and they don't work. And then I feel the feeling of feeling betrayed, betraying myself because I'm not giving myself a chance to pursue some of these things because I don't want to disappoint anybody else. It's like when the sun moved into this energy, I can feel myself like feeling torn and just turbulence within me. And also to the Saturnian aspect of it, it's like Saturn energy could be so taxing. And trust me, I know Saturn conjuncts my sun and my Mercury just one degree apart. So it's like I know that feeling of like being on my own back, like being a, a parent to myself, like, you know, it's like nothing I do is good enough. And it's like, it's like that heavy energy. And when the sun entered into a crayon season, I felt that energy I felt it even more. So when I look at the energies within the day and the sea serpent energy coming up and then the number 11, which kind of reminds me of Aquarian energy too, because the number 11 is the number one energy amplified. And the number one deals with masculinity. It deals with new beginnings. It deals with the ego. And with this energy amplified, this is just a lot of ego, a lot of great ideas, but at the same time, there is no nurturing of these ideas. So the ideas keeps coming and nothing is happening with these ideas. So we feel overwhelmed. We feel frustrated. We feel like the biggest loser because we're not bringing anything into fruition because there's so many ideas, but doing nothing about it. And that happens because the number one energy is the I am. It deals with the identity and we identify with ourselves based on our experiences 
with things on a tangible level in the physical realm. So the number one is pretty much conditioned to be. So the number one being an energy dealing with the new be new beginnings and also a competitive energy that deals with being first place and winning, this energy can stop us from taking action and doing anything that's original or authentic because we fear losing. We fear losing in the eyes of others who might disagree with what it is that we do or just don't approve. So out of fear of what other people will think, how they will receive us, we don't do anything. And a lot of people will say, I don't care what other people think, but then why don't you get started on that thing that is near and dear to your heart? Because deep down you do care. And I think it's important to check in and ask yourself, who are the people in my life who matter as far as I care about their opinion and what they think and what they say? And then ask yourself, how would they feel if I was to pursue this, that, or the next? And most of the time, you know, they might, it might not be something that we feel they would want for us. So just that alone stop us from getting started because we don't want to disappoint them. It goes back to that Saturn Uranian energy stuck in the middle uh, and feeling resentful stuck in the middle because you don't want to dis this disobey dismiss or disrespect the elders but at the same time feel like you're missing out on what's ahead so it's that stuck in the middle energy and I think of the number 11 energy is like stuck in the stuck in between pillars because it's like the number one energy is like two pillars that were stuck in between and mercury enters into Aquarius today so the mind moves into that lightning fast space where we could find ourselves going from one extreme to the next with thought and the number one energy deals with ideas so we could find ourselves so overwhelmed with ideas to the point where you feel like you got to catch your breath and whenever I get to the space I always write down all the ideas I have and ask myself of all these ideas which one has the most impact and, and execute or I'll ask myself of all the things that I need to do today which one scares me the most and I'll go after that one because once I get that out of the way, I have this sense of confidence within myself and I'm ready to just tackle and go after anything. I remember learning how to prioritize that from this book that I read by Brian Tracy called Eat That Frog. That's when I understood like procrastination and setting proper goals to get things done. So if that's something you struggle with, you might want to check that book out. But you don't want to be like how I used to be, where I would escape and consume a lot of information, but not really experiencing a lot of change in my life because I was just escaping through the information and not applying it. So, you know, when you read these books and, you know, tap into this content, this different information, make sure you're applying it so that you can see your life change and transform. The card associated with the day is the Queen of Pentacles in the reversal position. So with the Queen of Pentacles in the reversal position, you can find finances being something that your focus and attention is on. That could be something that causes a lot of anxiety or nervousness, thinking about financial situations or something coming up and triggering thoughts having to do with your finances and your financial situation, the moon is on its way into Scorpio. And whenever the moon gets to is on its way into Scorpio, to me, that's always a sign and an indication for shadow work. Shadow work meaning what kind of unresolved emotions, thought processes, really, what kind of unresolved thoughts are you holding on to that's not working for you? Because the emotions are going to surface where normally we could do a good job of hiding how we're really feeling for ourselves from ourselves. But when the energy enters here, like it's on, it's in your face, you can't hide from it. And this is where journaling, expressing, pouring out, thinking on paper, releasing, will help us to cleanse ourselves from all that's in our minds and even come up with some new ideas, new ways of seeing and doing things that can transform our situation. I think of how Saturday is associated with Saturn energy and Saturn can be so heavy. Saturn could be so 
feel so cruel sometimes because we feel this weight. It's almost like there's this gravity holding us down when it comes to our mind and gravity holding us down as far as like you didn't do this and you needed to do that. You know what thought is coming to mind is I've seen some people train dogs by like putting their nose in their poop or something like that, I think is what I see. Um, to get them to stop doing it. To me, the Saturn energy could feel like that, whereas like Saturn is, uh, not the, the Saturn energy, yes, and the moon going into Scorpio could feel like, you know, that energy putting your nose in your own poop so you could stop doing it. And it, it's, it's supposed to help us to see what's there, but sometimes we could find ourselves just trying to escape the moment. This is where we do different things to run from our reality. So we keep, it keeps coming up or other things keep piling on top of it. So the mess keeps getting bigger, but really this energy is benefiting us to like, see what's there, see what needs to be worked on, see what needs to be handled. The moon is squaring Mercury in Aquarius. The moon the moon is at 29 degrees Libra. Well, I have this set for 12 o'clock. So depending on the time you see it, but I feel like with the moon at, you know, so close into Scorpio energy, you're going to feel that shift. But the moon is squaring Pluto conjunct Mercury. So the inner world is in conflict with where the mind is. And the mind is an Aquarian energy and the mind is in a place where it's focused on freedom. It's focused on service to others. It's focused on innovation. Pluto is also is control. So the mind is in a space where it's also focused on control, transformation, and the shadowy aspect of things. And at the time, the moon is still in Libra, where it's focused on balance. And I think of Pluto energy, where with Pluto energy, is like, you got to pick a side. So this is where we could find ourselves, like, feel like our hand is being forced. We're being forced to make a decision. Because when I think about the number 11 energy and how I mentioned how the number one doesn't like to lose, so it doesn't even get started. And a lot of the times the number 11 will find itself in a position where it's refurbishing, reinventing what is, because more often that's a safer route. But, at, but after reflecting, I see how that could be beneficial because when I think of, say, having new and innovative ideas, sometimes our ideas are too far ahead of our time and could be out of touch with reality. So sometimes reinventing what is might be more like profitable if you're doing a business that requires that because at least people can people feel a sense of security to what you're creating because there's already a level of relatability because you're recreating what is. I love these videos because as I'm speaking about this is even helping me to see things in a totally different light. That's helping my world too. So yeah, when it comes to the energies in today, just take a breath, take a deep breath, journal. If journaling is not your thing, turn on your camera on your phone and talk, like express yourself, confess, say all that you need to say. Because I find when I take my journal out or I record just for myself and then delete it and I'm able to say, this is how I feel about this. I'm so angry about this or I'm so happy about this. Or, you know, just say the dark truth about how I feel about something after that expression. It's, it's, it's like a confession and it's like that energy leaves me and I feel so much lighter and I'm no longer carrying all this baggage around. So when it comes to this day expression, expressing yourself is necessary because with the Saturn aspect of the day, Mercury entering into Aquarius and the number 11 energy, it could feel a bit turbulent. It could feel a bit heavy. I like that the moon is positively aspecting the sun on Saturn in Aquarius. So with the moon positively aspecting the sun and Saturn in Aquarius, this brings me to compliance. It's like feeling the need to comply, feeling the need to comply just for the sake of peace. Yeah, feeling the need to comply for the sake of peace, but then I think of feeling resentful after because it's like I betrayed myself when I did that. It's like, yes, it was cool hanging out with so-and-so, and I went along with the vibe, but at the same time, I hope they don't expect me to keep this going because it, it wasn't completely 
true to me and what I need and what I want. It's like those are some of the thoughts that's coming to mind. Because I think of, say, the moon and the moon conjunct Pluto, not the moon, I'm sorry, Mercury conjunct Pluto, and the mind is in a space where it wants to be private, it wants to be secretive. So I think of, say, you know, not saying too much and not saying too much, but at the same time, not saying too much, but at the same time saying what needs to be said, not saying too much, but saying what needs to be said. Because when I think about Aquarian energy and Mercury entering to Aquarius, I think of how sometimes Aquarian energy, when I observe Aquarian energy, this energy can cause a person to show up and do too much only to want to ghost or disappear for a while because maybe a part of what you showed is a part of who you are, but not something that you can keep up all the time. And the people who you show that to now have this expectation for you to keep this part up all the time. And that's exhausting. So instead, I'll just avoid them on a whole because I can't keep up this that they expect from me. So when I think of this energy and what I say about not saying too much, ask yourself when it comes to showing up and interacting, how can I show up in a way that's consistent, something that I can keep going, something that doesn't cause me to betray myself or do something that'll make me feel cringe later. So those are some things that would be beneficial to look into when it comes to the energies within the day. I hope you guys are able to enjoy your day. Like I said, pace yourself. Journaling is definitely, definitely, definitely needed for today. Such a pleasure sharing this message with you as usual. If you'd like to book a reading or check out my exclusive contents on Patreon, the links are in the description box below. If you're still here with me, I'd love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a red and an orange heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.